What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Doom Goblin, and today I'm coming in with a really awesome 336 and 10 gameplay brought to you guys by Doom Marley, who happens to be a member of Doom Spain. Definitely check him out in the description below for dropping so many kills this gameplay. He's running around on Nuketown, and you know, yeah, I know, this is probably gonna get a couple comments here and there saying like, oh well, it's Nuketown, come on Doom Clan, you guys fucking suck, you need to be better. But you know, th think about it for a second, alright? 336 people. 336 kills in a, what I believe is a 6v6 game here, and, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know what, I'm gonna check right now, I'm gonna check right now, boys, time out, time out, let me open the gameplay, I'm gonna tell you right now if it's a 6v6, it, it is a 6v6, so 336 kills in a 6v6 game, that is absolutely crazy, so props to, huge props to Doom Marley, he's a fucking monster at BO2, you know, I've seen him drop some, you know, a 350, 400 bomb, I even think at one point, if, I, if I'm thinking correctly right now, I don't know, it's late at night, maybe I'm not, so, you know, running around on Nuketown, smacking kids, definitely check them out in the description below, and today what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is my thoughts on all this new, th this giant batch of Advanced Warfare announcements and reveals and leaks and news that have been going around the internet, because, you know, the other day, they announced a ton of stuff for the Advanced Warfare multiplayer, and I'm going to give you guys my two cents on it, and, you know, I've been, uh, I've been playing COD, actually, a lot longer than a lot of pub stompers nowadays, you know, a lot of guys that I talk to, they're like, yeah, I started in MW3, or even some in BO2, or some people are like, yeah, I started in Black Ops 1, and, you know, I've been sitting here, I had the original COD 4, I even had COD 3 back in the day, right before COD 4 came out, and I was there back in 07, when Halo was still bigger than COD in all those days, and when COD was on the come up, and, you know, back when you only had three kill streaks and all that stuff, and I've kind of watched the, the game and the series as a whole evolve and change into uh, what it is now with Call of Duty Ghosts, and, you know, I really want to share uh, my, my opinions and my two cents on why I think, you know, Advanced Warfare will be good and or bad, you know? So, right off the bat, I, I want to mention the game modes that they mentioned they're bringing back. They announced that they're bringing back uh, a couple game modes that have me damn excited, and I assume it'll have you guys excited as well. They're bringing back Hardpoint, Capture the Flag, and War. Now, wh what I find so interesting about that is, is War in particular, because that was a really underrated game mode in World at War, and if you guys remember it, it was kind of like a, there were like five objectives you had to hold. It was, it was like a, it was kind of like domination, but on crack. I don't really know how else to even put it. I haven't played it in so long. I probably just summarized it fucking terribly. If you guys have a better summary of it, drop a comment telling me uh, what what war is, because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I haven't played that in years. You know, the the other game modes are bringing back, of course, Hardpoint, which is a huge fan favorite from Black Ops Two. You know, that's one of that's my favorite game mode in COD of all time. In all honesty, I love Hardpoint way 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 better than Domination, in my opinion, and especially for you know pub stomping gameplays and stuff like that. I think it's definitely a lot more fun and capture the flag which is a really fun competitive game mode which is is definitely nice to see and i don't know if this is true or not because i actually didn't watch the reveal i just kind of uh, read across you know twitter and i googled things and stuff like that but a lot of people were saying they're bringing back league play and i don't know if that's true or not but considering they're bringing back hardpoint and ctf it's kind of only logical that League Play would also be returning, you know? So let's hope for that, because League Play is fun, as long as you don't get DDoSed, because there's a DDoS medal in the reveal, which is uh, kind of um, kind of interesting. You know, nice job, Sledgehammer. I don't know what else to tell you about that. The next thing that I want to mention here is the jetpacks that they've been, you know, kind of hinting at for a while, and they showed off in a multiplayer uh, little little reveal trailer. Not the one that I'm talking about with, like, the new game modes and stuff, but it was the one that they put on YouTube about a week ago from today. It is the 19th right now, the 19th of August, and... They um they they put this trailer out with uh like a, what showed you know people using jetpacks in cool ways and how you know three dimensional the maps are and the movement and all that kind of stuff and how there's a whole new level of like combat with the jetpacks and I personally think it is really cool. However, I'm also kind of skeptical about it because it's a lot like Halo Reach and that game didn't do so hot. That's one of the people's least favorite Halos and it had the jetpacks in it and I, I feel like that kind of that kind of messes with. FPSs, you know, I don't really know how else to put it. It's like every FPS that has been hugely successful that I can think of has been completely like ground based. There hasn't been any like crazy, absurd, you know, jetpack exoskeleton flying through the fucking air, slamming into your opponents and fucking them in the ass kind of shit, you know? There, there hasn't been any of that back in the good old like MW2 days when COP is at its prime, or at least in my opinion was at its, you know, prime or peak, whatever the hell you want to call it. But, you know, I'm still interested in seeing what it's like because, I mean, the game does look pretty fun to play, pretty fast paced in the multiplayer trailer 
trailer, which if you guys haven't seen yet, then I'll link it in the comment section below. Uh, I might, I'll probably actually forget. I'm a fucking dumbass. But, you know, cross your fingers. You know, if I haven't linked it, remind me if you guys want to see it or just look up Advanced Warfare multiplayer reveal trailer and it'll probably be the first result. I, I hope to God it'll be the first result. And the next thing I want to talk about is the maps because they haven't really given too much, at least from what I heard, about the maps. However, in the multiplayer trailer, they showed off a lot of maps and it has me quite curious. It has me pretty interested as to what exactly they're trying to do with this game and the maps and the jetpacks and how they're implementing, you know, jetpacks and all of the new stuff they can do with the next gen consoles because it has so much more power behind it. They can add so much more stuff. And uh, there was one of the maps in particular that I'm really interested in and it looked like a tsunami kind of map. I'm just going to call it tsunami where basically it was like this grassy kind of map and all of a sudden this huge wave comes in and slams the whole map and changes everything. It's kind of like, it's like uh, it's pretty much free fall on crack, if you think about it, because, you know, when free fall would, like, shake, uh, the only thing that would happen to me was the boulder would always fall on me on right side by the sea flag, I believe it was, and I'd always die, and then I'd get really upset because I'd die, like, too off a cam or something, and it'd piss me off, and that always happened to me because I was, uh, I was, I'm fucking stupid, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm terrible at COD, but... Uh, you know, it's just, it's kind of interesting to see, you know, all the, all the new things that they're trying out and crazy stuff like that, like a giant fucking hurricane or tsunami, excuse me, like uh, that, that's crazy. Think of the other stuff they're going to do. You could be in like a skyscraper and all of a sudden it'll collapse during the fight or you could be, you know, they, they could do like such creative stuff with all this, with like the weather and the environment and the place you're fighting. And it, it just seems really cool. So I'm definitely really excited for the maps and, you know, all this new stuff that they're adding and, you know, it just, just kind of dynamic events or, you know, world events like that, like the uh, the tsunami kind of thing. It, lo it looks really fucking cool. So definitely uh, props to Sledgehammer for at least trying that out, even if, you know, even if it doesn't work, at least they're they're putting in the effort. That's what counts, and they're, they're making me proud right now. The next thing I want to talk about is the camos that were shown in the multiplayer reveal trailer and, you know, I've been shown in gameplays. The camos look really, really cool, and the only reason I'm pointing this out, because I know camos aren't, like, super, super, you know, innovative or exciting or crazy, like, oh, oh my god, they're bringing back the red tiger camo. Oh, holy mom, get the camera, you know, like, it's not that kind of shit, but it's the kind of shit where, how do I put it, it looks like they're gonna be a lot more creative with camos this time, because we all know ghosts, they milked the hell out of their DLC camo packs with, like, the blunt force camo, and at least in my opinion, and, you know, I'd assume, judging by, you know, Twitter and stuff and what I've seen people saying about ghosts, the majority of the people agree that the DLCs and ghosts were pure shit, at least camo-wise, and I think, uh, I think most of us can agree with that. If you guys disagree, then I'm, I'm sorry. I hope it didn't offend you, but it, in this one, they're like, they're multicolored, they're all fancy, they look, you know, some of them look like little industrial camo, some of them look really cool, and you know, there's vibrant colors, and it looks really nice, and the, the graphics in general just look really nice in this game, thanks to Next Gen and stuff like that, and it, it looks like, it doesn't even look like COD anymore, in all honesty, it looks a lot like Next Gen Halo in a sense. It's like Halo and Titanfall had a baby, and it's COD. I don't even know if, if you could necessarily classify this as a Call of Duty game anymore, because I guarantee if you went back in time with a copy of this game and an Xbox One or a PS4 or whatever, and you gave the disc to people, I guarantee they wouldn't think it was a COD game. Like, let's say you burned it onto, like, a blank disc. Like, people would not know this was a COD game. If you went back to, like, 2009 when MW2 was out, and if you told them it was, they wouldn't fucking believe you. They'd be like, nah, this is like Halo 4 bro, you're fucking bullshitting. So, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's, it's interesting to see how different it is on this gen, you know, and I mean, it's only logical because of all the, the new technology they have and stuff, but it also makes me kind of wonder, what's the COD after Advanced Warfare going to be like? Like, I, I, I want to think a little bit further with it, you know, the next COD is by Treyarch, after this Advanced Warfare comes out, the next COD is by Treyarch, and we all, we all love Treyarch with all of our hearts, or at least the majority of us do, you know, they've, they've, in my opinion, at least been the best COD company by far, you know, continually putting out camos for BO2, and they made BO1 and World at War, which are some of my favorite CODs of all time, and BO2 is absolutely awesome, in my opinion, you know, the competitive is really fun, and it has that, that good, nice, upbeat, vibrant kind of feel to it, I don't know how else to put it, and, I'm interested to see if they're going to do like a Black Ops 3 or what they're really going to do with it because, you know, if they're just kind of getting started with the new potential in Advanced Warfare and the new things that they can add and do, you know, what, what are they going to do with Black Ops 3? Because they've been working on that game for, assuming they started right around when Black Ops 2 came out, or at least maybe a little after that, two or three years, you know? They've been working on this game for a really long time, and that has me excited, because never before now has a COD developer had this long to work on a COD game, so they can add more than, you know, your base set of guns. And the, the other things they're doing that seem kind of cool with Advanced Warfare is they're adding things that cater 
cater more to people. Like they're actually listening to what people want and what people are are begging for and complaining about. And it seems like they're kind of fixing things up. Yeah, I guess you could say like Sledgehammer's actually adding back game modes that we've all wanted for so long. You know, they added back War, and I, they wouldn't add back War for no reason. You know, they probably listened to the little guy out there because nobody's begging for War to come back. But it was a cool game mode at the same time. So it's kind of like, wow, okay, this is fucking awesome. You know, so. It's just, it's nice to know that at least it comes off as, maybe I'm wrong, that they're listening to their fans. And that's that's cool of them because it also gives us the opportunity to say, hey, Sledgehammer, you know, Advanced Warfare is cool and all, but listen... I gotta have a gun that looks like a penis, okay? So I'll get to this. And then, like, 10,000 people signed the petition, and next thing you know, we have, like, the cock 12 or some sort of shotgun that looks like a dick. I don't fucking know. You know, you never know. COD is getting goofy nowadays. You never fucking know. Infinity War would do it. They do it as a DLC because they did the blunt force and all that dumb shit. I'm pretty sure they'd actually do it. But it's just... It, it's cool to know that at least we're being heard, and I, I have faith in advanced warfare. You know, a lot of people are still really skeptical because of the exoskeletons and all that, but I have faith, and the last thing I want to bring up is the laser weapons. Those look really cool, but they don't look too OP like everyone speculated. You know, everyone was like, these things are gonna just going to fucking burn me. Like, they're going to ruin me. They're just going to wreck me. They're going to kill me so fast, and they don't look that OP. So, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go for 500 likes on the Doom channel. Check out myself and Marley in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.